You know, I was actually reading, I believe it was either an article or something in the Reddit community, that the whole thing that happened with, like, the original power and how things went down and stuff, right? Not regarding the whole ghost is death thing, but it's just more like, you know, technically he should have been found out a long time ago. <laughs> But I don't know. I don't know. Like, it was something about him. Like, I think the whole situation of him being, like, a cartoon character. It was either Tariq or Ghost being, like, a cartoon character. Like, the way things just went down and stuff. But regardless on that. um, So, for today's topic, <laughs> it's going to be, you know, the situation between Tariq and the Tejada family. Like, are they actually, like, a real threat? That's, the that's like, the real question I want some of you guys to think about. Like, are they really a just... You know, a broken family that doesn't really amount to anything. And they just there. You know, they don't really make up anything. They don't matter. It's just that they have their own personal problems. And they're going to continue to have those personal problems. And Tariq is just caught in the middle of things and stuff. Because Tariq needs them. But he don't really need them. Like, I want y'all to think about that. Like, he needs them. But he really don't need them. Because they're just there. He got himself into this situation when he didn't really need to. So it's like, are they actually a threat? I feel like the only real person that could be a threat would probably be Lorenzo. I think he's the only threat to maybe Tariq and maybe Kane. But Kane, he's Tariq beat him multiple amount of times mentally mentally like he physically no because <laughs> Kane got got the drop on him when he showed up and he popped him I'm like yo Tariq just doesn't know how to fight <laughs> but mentally he got the drop on him and he you can kind of say he mon fucked this man on several occasions but I believe the only real threat would probably be like Lorenzo and stuff because he has his side of the family which we kind of saw and there might be something there, I believe, because Monet doesn't have any control over her children, as we've clearly seen from the first season into the second season, where things is completely falling apart, and it's like, they're not, I don't, like, I'm gonna tell you this, in my honest opinion, I do and do not see them as a threat, because Tariq can take them out at, at any given point, any given point he could sabotage well he, he probably will continue to sabotage some things but i believe that he will it's easy it will be completely easy for him to do let's just say it like that on the record i think it would be completely easy for them to do because Tariq knows their weaknesses except for lorenzo well his weakness is more like the streets and and doing things the old way while monet is like hmm I don't know about this and stuff. She's trying to, like, figure a different way. But he's like, no, the old way works. It's just Tariq is, I don't like him. So I was thinking that if any possibility that can actually happen between, like, Lorenzo or Tariq, I feel like there will be an understanding that's going to probably happen. But I don't see them as, like, a full-on threat. Not because Diana is in hit. Well, Diana loves Tariq. Uh, Drew just he kind of don't want to be in the life he, he want to have a life with everett kane wants the streets lorenzo wants the streets and then monet she just wants to keep everything together so do you see that as a threat comparing to the serbs kane and uh dre to an extent dre to an extent tommy right all of the original key players that you've seen and even ghosts as like real threats like actual threats that can actually happen because the first scenario i can give you is when <laughs> milan that motherfucker man milan man when he came in there and he came into ghost's home and was having dinner in this man's home him and his wife was like oh yeah you know this dinner this shit delicious this shit delicious right baby and she's like, mm -hmm, it's, it's delicious. And then Ghost just got this stupid look on his face. Tasha looking at Ghost and him like, what the fuck going on here? How you allow this? And Ghost is like, this motherfucker got, a, got his damn thumb on the back of my damn head. I can't do nothing. He got the serves in my in my fucking nightclub and in my house. That, you, that was a threat. Family's important to him. And what's important to him is important to me. That was shots fired. 
that was completely shot to fly and he was a significant like a threat threat right and then we've seen when he kind of had Tommy tortured the fuck out of Tommy poor Tommy <laughs> poor Tommy beat the shit out of Tommy and was like listen Tommy I'm trying to teach you something fuck ghosts come with me you'll learn under the ways of the serve right then you'll be forgiven then you'll be blessed and who knows Maybe if you stay under me long enough, I'll teach you how to eat people as well. <laughs> I mean, even though he never said any of that shit, I'm just saying shit. But that was a threat. That was complete threat. Uh, Jason, uh, Jason was a threat to Tommy because he almost killed them. He was a threat to Tommy. Ghost, eh, not so much. Nah, it was just that he had to pay ghost had to pay him what was it i think 100k a week and eh, he wasn't that much of a threat to ghost that was because ghost you saw ghost kill him so yeah it was more like he was a, more of a threat to tommy and then you had lobos lobos was again that was a threat because he had he already had men everywhere and then he kind of killed tommy's dog and then he threatened to kill tommy's girl at the time so it was like legitimate threats and stuff monet tried to get Tariq under her thumb Tariq bitch made her in his in her own car and had hit, had to basically release this man so that way he can go in court to get his sister back so i'm like you see it, it's like if you got Tariq doing all of these things there is the you can't really consider them like an actual threat if Tariq was able to do that to monet okay Diana was able to like sweet talk Tariq and then she got uh, basically got the the combination and got the drugs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right? That's just like one little thing. But Tariq is going to easily um throw his meat in, in her face and be like, "All right, um settle down." And then she's going to be calm, right? Uh and then you have Kane who's, you know, have this hard on for wanting to kill Tariq even though People are saying that they probably will bury the hatchet and probably might be cool and stuff. It's, it might happen because I think Kane is going to be like, listen, if you can't beat him, join him. I think that's going to be the mentality for Kane. He's, he tried everything. He's like, all right, fuck it. If you can't beat him, join him. So he's going to, it could happen where he's going to have that mentality and stuff. So there is no, there's no control on Tariq. Unless, like I said, if you have maybe if you got Braden or you can target like the current people that's, you know, in Tariq's life. But you can't target his family. <laughs> Tasha and Yaz are gone. They in witness protection. They can't do shit to Tariq. So it's like you have this man unbound and unchained and there's nothing that you they can possibly do and stuff. So it's like, again, is the Tahada family an actual threat to Tariq? Mm, you guys have to let me know on that because i'm like i don't i don't know it's just their dysfunctional family that is basically easy pickings for Tariq. Tariq is gonna see this shit as a perfectly good opportunity and he's gonna pick them apart one by one by one by one by one because he hasn't forgotten and he knows eventually he's gonna have to get rid of them all so this is kind of like i wouldn't i wouldn't say like a well more like a testing ground somewhat open season on all of them because Tariq knows what he's gonna have to do in order for him to actually have like a clean break on getting to you know the things that he want to get and eventually getting out of the, the game and stuff so they there is nothing that they have on them now unless there's like a recording or something maybe maybe if there was like a recording of him killing maybe there would be something but I mean there is nothing I mean now we still have to wait to see in season three and then four and then whatever if they decide to go up to six or seven we still gonna have to see about that but season three is gonna have to really they're gonna have to do something <laughs> they're gonna have to really do something because i'm not i don't know if i see them as like a legitimate threat and stuff besides brute force and killing and stuff manipulation there is no manipulation i mean diana is gonna do her best to do it but Tariq is like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm, I got a new girl who's not a, who's not a part of this life, so eh, I'm not falling for it anymore. So it's like, you got you got street smarts, and then you got dick smarts. Now most women out there don't have dick smarts, so I'm sorry for most of y'all, but uh, regarding the whole topic at hand of the Tahada family and Tariq, 
I believe that there's nothing that they could possibly do unless there's some sort of recording or they do something to get Tariq back under their thumb. But I don't see that it happening anytime soon as that family is a dysfunctional and definitely a broken family. So it's going to be easy pickings for Tariq. And that's what I think. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below on regarding this topic at hand of the Tejada family and Tariq. So like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you all in the next one. Thank you.